We are tidying up some loose ends right now on what is the hottest form of Alabama football talk. It's In My Own Words with yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, live in studios. People, we got a chance to discuss Paul Tyson. We dove into the situation at Clemson, Davo Sweeney, where performance enhancement drugs are concerned. And before we get into the final topic to end this week's edition of shows, got to remind you about the Touchdown Alabama Magazine app. This is the plug. You crave the best in Crimson Tide news, notes, and information. The very essence of Alabama football. Look no further than downloading this app. People, we are providing you, the fans, with outstanding content in terms of practice recaps, game recaps, highlights, recruiting, press conferences, player interviews. You want to see something new, something fresh, big insight, cutting edge material, things that you just don't normally see from the average Alabama sports media outlet where football is concerned. You download the Touchdown Alabama Magazine app, which you can do this via the iPhone App Store, your rocking team Apple, Google Play Store, if the Android phone is your thing. You a fan of In My Own Words? Outstanding. You can check out the podcast via iTunes, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast.fm. No excuse for you not to check out the hottest show in the streets. A little bit of news and notes to dive into. First and foremost, how about the Birmingham Iron? 2-0 on the season after getting the 26-0 win over the Memphis Express as a part of the Alliance of American Football League. Birmingham earning a 12-9 win over the Salt Lake Stallions over the weekend. Trent Richardson had a slow start in back-to-back games, but that fourth quarter, he is starting to look a lot like the Richardson that Alabama fans fell in love with during his three seasons with the Crimson Tide from 2009 to 2011, showing the toughness, the grit, the energy, not allowing himself to be brought down by one guy, showcasing some pretty good hands out the backfield as a pass catcher. And when Birmingham needs a score in the fourth quarter, T. Rich, Trent Richardson, the former All-American, getting it done. Big job by him in the game-winning touchdown for the Birmingham Iron over the Salt Lake Stallions. Also, Nick Saban, we've got some confirmation some finalization. Penn has been put to paper where this coaching staff is concerned for 2019. Saban deciding to retain the likes of Pete Golding, Carl Scott, and Jeff Banks from the 2018 staff. But as far as 2019 is concerned, offensively, we are looking at Steve Sarkeesian as offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach, Kyle Flood, offensive line coach, Charles Huff, running backs coach, Holloman Wiggins, wide receivers coach. I've already mentioned Jeff Banks, tight end and special teams coach. Flipping this to defense, we've got Pete Golding, defensive coordinator and inside linebackers coach. Sal Sanceri, outside linebackers coach. Brian Baker, defensive line coach. Carl Scott, secondary coach primarily with cornerbacks. And Charles Kelly, Defensive backs coach primarily with safeties. He will also have an associate defensive coordinator tag. So Nick Saban finalizing that coaching staff as we get prepared for spring ball here. We now dive into the final topic of conversation. A while back, Coach Saban made the move to bring in Mike Stoops to be a defensive analyst formerly of the Oklahoma Sooners as a defensive coordinator. And a lot of people were thrown off by the hire just due to the 2018 uh, Sooners team gave up an average of 33.3 points per game, including six matchups where it gave up 40 plus points per contest. But Saban also knows that the 2018 Alabama defense was the second worst statistically during his time in Tuscaloosa. 2018, Bama unit gave up 18.1 
points per game. The worst unit for 2014, Crimson Tide defense giving up 18.4 points per game. And if you remember, one of the first few things Saban said in 2007 when he first arrived in Alabama, when he got the plane at Tuscaloosa Regional Airport, he said, we are trying to give you, the fans, a program, a product that you can be proud of. And unfortunately, the 2018 defense, not the product that Alabama fans were particularly proud of. Henceforth, you saw how he attacked the offseason, bringing in anybody and everybody with a pulse on the defensive side of the ball to get that unit playing like a nasty, tenacious, make his butt quit. You're trying to get Alabama back to the mantra of making teams fear when the Crimson Tide comes up on the schedule. That's what Saban's trying to do. And you got Mike Stoops in here. Stoops, as a coach, not bad in two stints with the Oklahoma Sooners. The first stint from 1999 to 2003, a five-year stint. The Sooners gave up an average of 15.54 points a game. The 2001 Sooners team allowed just 13 points per game, the best mark for 2000's group for Oklahoma, a BCS National Championship group. During those five years, Oklahoma never allowed an average of 20 points per game. Overall, 15 points. 54. So a very stingy defense for the Sooners in that first five-year period for Stoops. His second stint from 2012 to 2018, a seven-year period. Oklahoma more so bend but don't break, but still not bad. Sooners gave up an average of 26.4 points per game. The worst outing, once again, the 2018 group. Now, the difference between the Big 12 and the Pac-12, as opposed to the Southeastern Conference, the Atlantic Coast Conference, and the Big 10, the Big 12 and the Pac-12 are more of a space, uh, more of a space and speed game, if you will. The average size defensive lineman in the Big 12, Pac-12, we're talking 6'5", 240 pounds, 6'5", 235, 240, versus the SEC, ACC and Big Ten, your average defensive lineman, 6'4", 6'5", 290 pounds if they're a defensive end, 300 pounds plus if they're a defensive tackle. At linebacker, you're talking Big 12, Pac-12, your big guy is maybe 6'1", 6'2", or 6 feet, 6'1", 220 pounds, as opposed to the SEC, ACC and Big Ten, your average inside linebacker is about 6'2", 6'3", 230 pounds. So it's more so a bigger size, speed, a, a, a more bigger breed of players in other conferences as opposed to the Big 12 and the Pac-12. But in terms of the Sooners, Mike Stoops was able to make it work. Once again, gave up just 26.4 points per game in that second stint. The worst uh, group, that 2018 group, giving up 33.3 points per game. Stoops was also a head coach for the University of Arizona. The Wildcats in the Pac-12 was the Pac-10 then. From 2004 to 2011, during the eight-year period, Stoops' defenses gave up 25.14 points per game. So still very stingy here. The biggest stat, though, but I thought that was very intriguing in the two stints with Oklahoma and the one hit coaching stint at Arizona, Stoops' defense has recorded 286 picks, 286 interceptions. They believed in taking away the football. And I think a lot of fans get the term uh, off-field analyst, off-field consultant mixed up with position coach and coordinator. The position coaches and coordinators They're the ones that have hands-on, direct contact with players. They're on the field at every practice. They're on the field at every game, taking guys through drills, getting down in stance, working with different players at each position on their mechanics. They're the ones that have the hands-on intuition, direct contact, direct correlation with players. In terms of off-field analysts and off-field consultants, those are the ones that are behind the scenes, right? They're upstairs. They're cutting game tape. 
They're watching film. They're studying different opponents that you're going to play. They cut up the game tape. They're allowed to sit in on meetings. They can make suggestions in the meeting room where the coaches are concerned. If there is a sense of in-house recruiting, they can take part in the recruiting in-house. But your off-field consultants, your off-field analysts, they handle things behind the scenes. So they're more so indirect involved for players, but it's the coaches, position coaches, and coordinators that are hands-on. They're on the field. They're inside the action. They're the ones uh, coaching these kids up and getting them prepared each, getting, getting them prepared to play each and every Saturday in the fall. But Mike Stoops in Alabama, Nick Saban, full faith, full confidence in him. He comes from Oklahoma where he knows the mindset of Lincoln Riley. He's been around him. And with Jalen Hurts, with the Sooners now, should it become a situation where it may be Oklahoma and Alabama back in the college football playoff, either in a semifinal matchup or in a national championship matchup for 2019? You've got a guy in Mike Stoops that knows the formula at Oklahoma. This could be a good thing for the Crimson Tide. Well, folks... That's going to do it for this week's edition of shows. When we start next week of In My Own Words, we'll dive into top five players offensively and top five players on defense that I'm looking forward to watch in spring ball. We'll also touch in more on Trent Richardson and the Birmingham Iron. For all of us here at Touchdown Alabama Magazine, I'm yours truly, Stephen M. Smith. Enjoy your week. Until next time, folks, it's been in my own words. So long, everybody.